Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be solving a GRE quantitative reasoning practice question. This sample question is a quadratic equation algebra question. We will be solving this question in a couple of methods. In one of the methods, we will actually be finding out the roots. In the other method, we will be using algebraic identities to arrive at the answer. At the end of solving this question, I presented you with a bonus question. Please solve the bonus question and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Before we start, have you subscribed to our channel? If so, thank you very much. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on the notification. Let's get started with the question. If P and Q are the roots of the quadratic equation x square plus 12x minus 45 equals 0, what is the value of P square plus Q square? That's what we need to find out. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm going to be solving this question using two methods. The first one is the most intuitive, obvious one. P and Q are the roots of this quadratic equation. Let's find out what is P, what is Q, and then find out P square plus Q square. Right. The quadratic equation is x square plus 12x minus 45 equals 0. The product of the first and the last term is minus 45. The middle term is a 12. We need to break the middle term into two parts such that the sum is a 12 plus 12 and the product is a minus 45. 15 times 3 is essentially a 45. Plus 15 minus 3 is essentially what we are looking at to get this product of minus 45x square and a sum of plus 12x. So x square plus 15x minus 3x minus 45 is what we have. This will factorize as x times x plus 15 taking x common between these two terms take a minus 3 common between the third and fourth term that will leave us with another x plus 15 x plus 15 is common to these two parts so x plus 15 x plus 15 times x minus 3 equals 0 so the values that we get for x are minus 15 or 3 so let's take p to be equal to minus 15 one of the roots q to be equal to 3 which is the other root now, what do we have to find out? We need to find out p square plus q square. So, p is equal to minus 15. It could be p or q. It really doesn't matter because you're squaring and adding it. q is equal to a 3. So, p square is equal to minus 15 square, which is equal to 225. q square is equal to a 9. So, p square plus q square is equal to 234. Right. So, found the answer doesn't take more than probably 30, 35 seconds to arrive at the answer if you know how to factorize this quadratic equation. The second method I like to walk you through and I'll also tell you why the second method is also an important one to learn. Right? We'll finish the second method. Right? So what do we know? We know that if x square plus ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation, some of its roots p plus q in this case will be minus b by a known to us. pq, the product of the roots is equal to c by a. This is also known to us. So some of the roots for us is essentially x square plus 12x, b is a 12, a is a 1, so it's going to be equal to minus 12 by 1, which is minus 12, sum of the roots. Product of the roots pq is equal to c by a, which is equal to minus 45 by 1, which is equal to minus 45. We've done this, okay. What is asked, what is asked of us is p square plus q square. So going to try and figure out. How do we write p square plus q square in terms of p plus q and pq? Because from the coefficients of the quadratic equation, we'll be able to find out the sum of the roots, we'll be able to find out the product of the roots. Can we use that to figure out this p square plus q square? Let's just check out. Let's find out what is p plus q the whole square to start with. That is p square plus q square plus 2pq. We want just this part. So take it to the left hand side or we'll take this, we'll rewrite it p square plus q square will therefore be equal to p plus q the whole square minus 2pq. Do we know the value of p plus q? Yes, we found it to be equal to a minus 12. So this is minus 12 square minus 2 times. What is the value of pq? pq is equal to a minus 45 mi minus 2 times of minus 45. So this is 144 minus of minus makes it as plus plus 90 which is equal to a 234. The same answer as we got with the earlier method. So p square plus q square is the same 234. The first method was obviously way simpler than what we did here. Why the second method at all? The second method makes sense in cases where you can't factorize and find out the roots as easily as we did right now. Or if the value of the roots end up being irrational numbers or ended up being numbers which are imaginary numbers. For example, what if this quadratic equation had been x square plus let's say a 13x plus a 42 equals 0. This can also be factorized. Let's make it as a 43 equals 0. 
this quadratic equation cannot be factorized. You will get an answer. Let us check out. This is b square minus 4ac. b square is 169. 4ac is 4 times 1 times 43, which is 172. So, this is actually going to be an imaginary root. So, finding out the value of p as imaginary, finding out the value as imaginary, p square plus q square, that becomes a little more cumbersome. Conversely, this would have made a lot more sense for this question. What is the value of p plus q? It is a minus 13. What is the value of pq? That is equal to a 43. So, what is going to be your p square plus q square, which is p, the sum of the root square, which is minus 13 square, minus 2 times of the product of the roots, which is 2 into 43. 169 minus 86 would have given us the answer in a jiffy. So, where it is not factorizable, where it, the roots are not going to be numbers the way we got here as minus 15 and plus 3, those kind of scenarios going with the second method is probably a wiser option. Having known why we did the second method and how to go about the second method, I am going to leave you with a bonus question. I am not changed, the answer is 234, right? I have overwritten on that space. So, choice C is the correct answer. If P and Q are the roots of the quadratic equation, I have not changed it here. You could try this question and you can also try a variant where you can take something like x square plus, as we did in the last case, plus 13x plus uh, 43 equals 0. You can try this as a second bonus question. What is the value of p minus q the whole square? p square plus q square, we wrote it in terms of p plus q and pq. See, for any quadratic equation, finding the sum of the roots is minus b by a, product of the roots is c by a. So, you need to look at expressing this one, find out p and q, which you already done, find out p minus q the whole square, get to this answer in a jiffy using method 1. But spend time on seeing how you can rewrite this in terms of p plus q and pq and arrive at the answer in the second method and then find it out for this equation for which you can't factorize and get the roots of the quadratic equation as we managed it here. Right? Post your answers for both these variants in the comment section of this video. Best wishes for your GRE preparation.